actually bishop d5 was a very nice tempo and now okay i will still play it next but still would have been juicier to have done it in the previous move but now if rook d1 at least his queen will be trapped so we will have to give up the exchange but it seems like practically we'll have some compensation and uh, this option of giving up the exchange is not possible so if i had i played bishop d5 instantly so i would have gained like uh, tempo and a half or so if this makes sense okay i'll go here now better late than never and develop my queen put it on b6 and now I have to decide whether I want it on b7, b8 or maybe you will even uh, force the exchange with queen d4 if he senses the danger it would be a good idea to exchange it before it's too late don't see any tactics so just prevent his threat of knight d7 go back Feeling good about my chances at this point. He doesn't have a big threat, and I have the file. Want to create a window? Create a window for the king somehow. The left. Forty people watching us. Not so bad. Exchange the queens. Put the rook on c2, very active for the moment. And now I need to do something with the vi no, but then the bishop is hanging. Okay, let's bring the king over. Shouldn't be bad. Now knight c3 might be an idea. Also taking then bishop b2. Okay, I'll go knight c3. I don't want to draw. Knight e4 being the threat. Mm. No, I missed a simple tactic. Okay, funnily enough, I'm attempting to flag my lovely opponent. Hmm. 
not very successfully. I have to admit, but I did succeed. <laughs> okay, sorry about uh, the lack of sportsmanship, but 3 plus 0 is basically flagging by definition, and he doesn't want a rematch, which I understand. Okay, and suddenly he does, okay, and now he doesn't. Oh, it's my move, okay. Finally he plays when I give him... Ah, that's too bad. I gave him a bit of uh, handicap, so now he wants to play. Um, so on 26.50 he offered me to play. I didn't have the time to see who it was. But uh, I was in the middle of this game. Okay, so... Let's see. Everything is in its right place other than my knights I think I'm gonna get it this pawn back eventually but I'm not sure okay now I probably will I should have gone knight c6 knight a4 very quickly because now I get knight g5 and then um, okay I'm not worse probably not better but Shouldn't be worse for me. I guess f4 was a bit more precise. But anyway. This knight is, is a strong. We're getting a very interesting middle game. Because I'm getting the e6 pawn, probably. Ah, no, I'm not even that. So forget everything, I'm just standing badly. <laughs> ah, this was a pity. Bad judgment by me. But it's not like I had too much choice. Okay, so... Knight g4 is probably coming next. Oh, even better. Giving up. Okay, let's try to survive. I believe it's possible, but but far from easy. My d5 is coming. Okay, but I have some counterplay. Yeah, this is even better. Oh no, rook h2, I didn't even see this idea. Not that I had anything against it, but still, it feels terrible to be outplayed so easily from an endgame that I guess was just equal. Okay, let's see. I, st I can still fight so I don't, I'm not getting mated yet his main threat is to capture this pawn let's defend it for one move and then see what happens next take it one move at a time He wants my pawn. I want to dive into d7. One of us should get what he wants. I cannot protect it, so I better find some active idea. Let's go here. And then he has rooks somewhere. Okay, so I'll put my king here, allow him to take. Because if rook did something, he had. Okay, now no 
he doesn't have it anymore. I think I can double the rooks. But on which file? Probably the D file. Now king f6 followed by king e5 is a good move. This is also possible but it gives up the b7 pawn. So I feel like I'm still in the game somewhat. I'm getting a pawn. I think. Is he going for the draw? Now again I'm doing my usual thing of attempting to flag my opponent for no reason, with no right to do so. Let's continue our adventures. The reverse exchange slav. double the rooks on the c5 seems legit I mean uh, the next step of my plan if anyone watched my streams with Hutch I asked myself what does he want I said the answer was nothing so which piece didn't work the rook on f8, on f8 so I'm bringing it to the most active square on the open file so it feels like black is slightly more pleasant because my pieces are a bit more active my bishops are better than his bishops I think yeah now we have some potential for tactics but not so much not too much I don't see a way to to nail my opponent to the ground. Let's try this. And bishop takes. Probably not the best way, but it's probably just equal. Okay, now knight a5 looks kind of interesting. Put my bishop here to avoid any checks. A knight a5 might be a threat, I'm not sure looks interesting to get the knight to c4 uh, but it doesn't work any longer okay let's take it I guess mm, yeah, I'm not, I wasn't too sure how to handle this position properly if anyone is looking for an explanation of why I'm not exploiting what I thought to be an advantage it's, I prioritize playing faster because I'm not sure I'm capable of playing well. So 
So he wants to get his knight to c5. Let's put this knight here and exchange some pieces. Alright. Let's move it here. Slightly more active square. And maybe from b6 it will reach the desired c4, a4 squares later. Okay, probably it's gonna double on the c file. I don't have any anything new to suggest. Oh, but okay. So it feels like it should be a draw. We're very close to it. Knight c5 is the annoying move. I shouldn't have allowed it. And this g6 move was very weakening for no reason. Okay, fortunately it doesn't have a threat yet. And this is even less ambitious than, than, than what I expected him to play. So now... It should be a draw. by my understanding okay, and now I'll probably play f6 to avoid bishop b8 because it will be stuck there if he gets b6 so Let's go here get his king a little bit attached to his pawn this feels good, I'm threatening b6 maybe I think I can play it now. If it takes, I take, and then I have bishop d6 after b7. Oh, but actually it can go ed5 and then c6, which I missed. Uh, I might be losing, actually. Okay, let's go bishop d8. Don't have a choice. At least we have the time on our side. How lovely. I have the time on my side. And I never felt this way before. This is true. 